Australia is really perfect for, for solar power because it's not too far north or too far south. You could have the, the, the entire country be solar powered or some combination of wind, solar, uh, geothermal, hydro. I, I really want the rest of the world to see that you can do um, a very large scale. A 100 megawatt system is, is, is really quite enormous. Um, this is three times more than the next biggest battery in the world. That, that, that's just a giant, giant jump forward. The cost of power is making it almost a luxury item. Wow. Really? Is really? That, I don't know how it's that expensive. Australia has so many natural resources. I mean, even if you go the fossil fuel route, uh, the electricity should be very cheap. There are Australians today wondering if they can even turn on their lights. There are Australians today wondering, um, well, should we go without some food? Sure. In, in, that's just not something you would ever expect. I did not expect that. Hmm. We will work harder. It's necessarily true that we will live on renewables. It's just a question of when. In fact, it's, 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 it's in the definition that um, if, if it's not renewable, that means it's, it's going to run out at some point and you will have the choice of collapse of civilization and um, into the dark ages we go, or find something that is renewable. So all of this is about um, saving ourselves. Yeah. In Nevada, America, Elon Musk has a gigafactory pumping out thousands of lithium batteries in a building that only keeps growing. The batteries are to power his electric cars, but also homes, and they're already in use in Australia. So this is it. This is it. This is the battery. And how long does it take to charge? Uh, on a nice sunny day from 0% from charge, it might take a few hours. If Elon Musk had his way, the world would be totally powered by renewables and he'd be colonising Mars. He is a big picture man with big